situation, we have a Dell Optiplex 790 small form factor and lights one and three are amber solid. This means that one of the two of the memory modules are not working correctly. So step one is to locate the memory modules and replace one at a time. Get the memory module, remove the power, and start taking parts off. So there goes the CD drive, and the memory modules are in right here. So we have to move this part and that part. So we'll take that off, snap it up, pull that out, and that will reveal the RAM chips. So uh, remove one of those two RAM chips. And it could be the slot, the chip, or one of the two, or it could be the board altogether. Cool. So that's why we just want to troubleshoot that. Now that one is removed, let's plug it in and test, see what we get. Okay, so now we have a solid four, three, four, four, three, one. And we have a picture. So that RAM chip that you have in your hand there is probably bad. The amount of system memory has changed. Let's put this on. So now one, two, and three. But press uh, press F1 to continue. Okay. So now the computer works again. Let's reseat that memory module. Let's power it off and see if if it was because of the RAM or if it just wasn't seated correctly. And push the other side. There we go. Ooh. That's in there good enough. Power bank. So we already see one and three are solid and there's no video. When you have a problem with RAM, you won't get any video display. So whenever you see no video, uh, the first thing to check is RAM even before you check the video card. So, yeah, so let's unplug it again, remove that chip, and we'll see if this is still under contract with Dell to get a replacement RAM chip, otherwise we'll have to replace it ourselves. Now, it could be that the slot went bad, so I'm putting the bad chip in to the known good slot and seeing if it powers on. And we get the same error code one and three but we can determine that that ram chip is bad i just put the known good chip back in let's see if we can power it back up so we have one and two and we have none it's booting back up start windows normally 